Madrid's galleries are well good. You're going too quickly. We're going to do it in unison. No, like this. <laughs> but to deepen our insight even further, we hire a guide called Hanan, who speaks as soon as this non-diegetic intrusion concludes. Don Richard, Thank welcome you. to the Brown Museum. Ooh. Oh, please. We find ourselves to the rear of Spain's national gallery, the Del Prado. Would you like to enjoy some of the masterpieces? Sure. Yes, please. Thank Don you. Don Richard. Don Richard. From now on, can you address me as that, please? <laughs> After that poignant naming ceremony, we bosh some Hieronymus. This titanic triptych depicts heaven and the Garden of Eden on the left. It's interesting, the connection between pink yes. and house of God. Thank you. Ah. While the centre panel posits a post-Eden earth, with people up to their guts in no-no juice. Those fellas caught in a shrimp. Here they are. A dart to the right delineates the hellish consequences. I feel like in hell people would be water skiing. Pig nun there, of course. It's a bit like Where's Wally, isn't it? You have to sort of look to find the pig nun. Right. Found it. I win. It's the work of a moment for us to behold a masterpiece conceived and completed on Spanish soil. Las Meninas by King Philip IV's fave, Diego Velázquez. Don't you have the impression that we could Enter the room and walk and walk until the open door. You could climb in it like in Harry Potter. After that leading question, Hernan leads us to the canvas for a closer look. Do you see a soft breeze blowing gentle the blonde hair of the princess? Y yeah. I think that's a no from Ellie. Aesthetically elevated, we seek to slake our awakened thirst at the Centro de Arte Reina Sofia. We pause to peruse the now cancelled Picasso's Cree de Coeur, Guernica. Time's up for opinions. Before barrelling to this piece of business by Spanish surrealist and ant aficionado Salvador Dali. What do you think, Eli? I'm still thinking about the name. Although Simon Cowell is turning that into a format. What do you think, Richard? Well, I find it a bit prog rock for me. Right. It feels like a very long guitar solo. Lest we eclipse the legacy of John Berger, we must take our leave of Hernan. Bye bye, bye. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I. That was that was a very awkward handshake because I came it was in. It's like three way. I actually inset. That became a pile up. It is. That was like. He's just left. I think that's one of the worst farewells <laughs> I've been a part of.